Ben stops himself as his hand closes on the weapon at his uh oh it is you if I'm Ben Mezd I remember you you were my captain's commander way way back in the war oh he never forgot the stench of vile Vic I ain't telling me you remember what a brave soldier he was shrugging pretend you don't remember him at all Hmm. Ah, uh, shrug. His eyes darken. His face closes over into a cold mask. I always knew you'd end up down low. Lower even than us nobodies in the rank and file. The higher the climb, the louder the splat when you fall. And Fort Joy, you're about to fall further than you thought possible. And I'll be listening for trying to spot. place his voice. Happy landings. Happy landings. Thanks, buddy. Oop. Don't turn around because I'm stealing whatever's in this box. Mine. Oh, I forgot about that. That shows line of sight. Who this? Ah, Sabil! An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot. Lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Wonder what she's doing. Ask if I join her. Hmm. Ask her to join. Game for one, I'm afraid. Rolling dice? Deciding fates. Whose fates is she deciding? Whose face is you deciding? Worry, honey. It isn't yours. She looks you up and down with the merest hint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. <laughs> she can decide fates with dice. Ask if she can read the future in cow entrails as well. She do that. Quite seriously. Uh oh. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it too. Right. So elves can eat flesh and can learn skills and stuff. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Shall I? To be honest, in real life, I'd be like, ew. But I gotta know. She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were... In a cellar with other sorcerers, as everyone lay sleeping, it seems you and another elf engaged in an action somewhat similar to the one I just performed. Haha! <laughs> Only rather more vigorously. That's funny. You're at the ground embarrassed. You had quite forgotten about that. Admit why I. That's exactly right. Snap at her. She doesn't know what in the seventh hell she's talking about it. Um, sure. None of these really fit what I would really answer. Sure, that's exactly right. The truth's right there, skin deep. But don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. I don't lick and tell. <laughs> All right, Sabil, you make me laugh. Money. Money. All right, who over here? Who that? Ollie, Trice, Dandy. You know, no, sir. She's a really good singer. I'm better though. Listen. La 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 la. Hmm. Don't bet on it, kid. There's Losa. Okay. I, I wasn't doing anything. I swear. <laughs> He's kicked a ball at her. You look like my daddy. His name is Frida. He's waiting for me at home. They're all wearing colors, too. Losa! Ah, oh, there you are. Um, husband. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like faves that I am by no <laughs> love her. this Losa woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. I want to take her arm again, tell the children they must be mistaken, squint at the lot of them. Who's Losa? Say she must have you confused with someone else. Look at the past. 
parcel of dirty kids and say they seem well enough to like rats to you. Uh, who's Losa? The young woman seems about to raise her hand, but quickly remembers herself and nods pointedly at the excited children. Who indeed? Why, my name is um, Madame, Madame Josephine. Josephine. <laughs> the children All right. break out into giggles. I say, it is. Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? See that? It's true enough. Shake her hand. Losa, you presume. And so she couldn't find some more age-appropriate companions, so you're more concerned in survival than in entertainment. I will shake her hand. You presume right. Guess if she knows anything about the murder that happened, tell her she ought to have a look around with you. You can watch each other's backs. I kind of like that idea. Hey, Phantom, what up, dude? We're uh, just getting into the game, so it's going to be pretty slow here for a bit, but uh, hopefully you'll catch some of the glimmers of fun writing here. All right. Uh... I kind of want to do two, but I want to see if she knows anything no, about the murder. Trying not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. All right, I got the option again. Uh, let's they hang out. Already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. Dang it! We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. Are you talking about the kids? You take care though. Suddenly, her eyes Dang it. cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. So that must be the thing that she brought up. In the origin as story. As they came, the clouds Woo! She smiles as though no change came over her. Losa crazy. Good luck, Chief. But I love her. Make a pizza? Ooh. Sounds good. Alright, talk to this guy. Ask him who wants to know. Say your name is he found him as yes, you know it's hard to pronounce. Well you won't sure. on my list. Scrammy. We're trying to catch a killer here. So the downside is I didn't choose pet pile, so I can't talk to his doggo. You can totally talk to doggos in this game, and it's hilarious. Or you can talk to all the animals. It's pretty great. Uh, oops. I'm pushing all sorts of buttons here. How did I open that? All right, let's talk to Beast. A broad dwarf sits totally upright on the bench, eyes closed, palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? Tell me you have to think twice before dressing like a child. That's what you meant by... Maybe ask what you're meant to be hearing. Wave his request away and ask him what he knows about the murder. What do you mean to be hearing? Of course. Listen to the ship. The sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. And? Moaning like a sick man. Say the sea sounds angry, like he's trying to capsize the ship. Okay, shipmates are as tight as skulls. You could barely hear over the din. Uh. C sounds angry. Cocks his ear, listening. That isn't anger. It's... He cocks his ear to the other side, then smiles. Anticipation. She senses something. I'd hold on to my breeches if I were you, mate. That's all you hear, though. Listen close. Uh, close your eyes and sh let the ambient sounds of the ship yeah, fade away. Just like that. Squee. <laughs> the narrator pronounces it. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. I'm so excited. Nothing more than a rat. Oh, you beautiful idiot. That wasn't any rat. It was the wheel. It squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. 
Whoa, smart guy. Burn my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Wow, that's impressive. Tell him he shouldn't talk like that about such a magnificent beard. That's why he's so excited about reaching Fort Joy. You've never heard anything good out of the place. He must be a practi practice sailor. Ask him what the figure means to him. Captain, actually. And that figure tells me we're getting close to the joy. Close to what lies beyond it, too. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. He's hatching an escape, pl escape plan. I want in. Say nothing but look him over once before leaving. You may want to find him again inside Fort Joy. I want to find him inside Fort Joy. Who dis? Gil. I didn't do nothing, okay? It was one of them. One of your people. Human. Oh, he must be a dwarf. Okay. Who are you? Oh wait, the elf is Fane! The of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. I never found him. His big round in my other place. Scanning your body, absorbing every detail. He reaches out and takes your hand, turning it this way and that, examining it from every angle. Finally, he pinches your skin, gently tugging at it. Fascinating. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. That's where the book he's reading is in again. He seems engrossed in it. Ask who you're speaking to. We did say that what's fascinating is his lack of survival instinct. <laughs> hmm? uh, oh no, my instinct to survive is quite strong, as with all mortals. I'm not sure why you would. Oh, oh dear. I seem to have crossed some cultural taboo. How difficult. You have my apologies, human. Perhaps I should demand the same from those red-cloaked humans. They laid their hands on me more than once. You're not sure he understands what's happening. You're being used. Who is this guy about his book? I'm going to look at him curiously. Perhaps not. Understanding is all rather relative. Take this book, for example. I understand all of it, and yet none of it makes sense. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? Tags determine options are available to you in dialogue. Yeah, we've already saw that. Tell him about the war between Divine Order and the Black Ring. It dwarfed everything that went before. Tell him the history of this land and death and slaughter. He'd be better off not dwelling on it. History of Rivalon is the history of the Divine Order. Talk to him about Lucian the Vine and his son, Exalander. Wow. Three of my tags showed up. Talk to him about the most recent threat and how the Magisters have been fighting the Voidwalk and all over Rivalon. I'm going to do mine. Oh, please. I have no interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. No. I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Admit some things aren't known. Look at him indiscriminately. The gods are forces of nature. They don't have a history. Ask why he's so curious about the gods. Mm. I'm going to say some things aren't known. Of course you don't have any useful information. Why did I expect anything else? Now, please, run along. I have a world to decipher. Why he was so curious about the gods? I'm gonna one no why. Get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. Okay. All right. Yo. It's a register, sir. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? He asked if he'd be fine, call it like a dog that's stuck in the ship's hold with the corpse and murder on the loose. Uh, ask if he really cares. Seems void woke and dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? You'll see. We're gonna help you. 
you head Aww. on in now, Williams will get you short at fast. Makes me think that uh he actually does care. Doggo. Alright, I think I can open this now, because I got that key. Ask what you must. I've got this Close it. No, close it. No. Come back. Close it. Close it. Thank you. Cooking pot. Poison bottle. Mashed potatoes. Take all those. Pocket knife. Ooh, it's a dagger. Take the potato. Take the dagger. Mug of wine. Take the garlic. Am I going to get in trouble for having a... A dagger? Ooh, picking up all the things. Yeah, potion. Ooh. Oops. I just picked up a thing. What does this do? This is uh restoration. That's a heal. Uh, C. Oh, it's C that hides. Yeah, look, I turned into a barrel. <laughs> okay. Uh, inventory. I. Okay. I don't want a washing tub, so. Stain shirt. Put that on. Uh, dagger. Do I have anything else? I don't need this. Uh. Okay, I thought I might have grabbed something else, but apparently not. Okay, I got a little bit of armor and a crappy knife. Oops. Alright, let's get out. Alright, I can go through here. Ooh, money. Who tries to run, shoot to kill? Ooh, look at all this. Fish, wine, requisition. Oh, here, note. Well, perhaps you're absolutely right. I kind of want to read these, or look at them at least. Boring. Boring. Uh, cheese bread. Pumpkin soup. Ham. More wine. Red schnapper. Ooh, look at. Standing at the center no! of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. Should have walked around. Their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. Oh, we found the murderer. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. He's threatening oh, me? God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Say yes, sir, and turn and leave. The murder must be brought to justice. This may be the perfect opportunity to create a mutiny. Tell the woman to stand by her. Tell the woman you stand by her. You just threatened me. Address the sorcerer and ask her what she meant by it. There's others whose lives must end. It means Three. your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. That's not fair. I'm just about to create a scene. So do a man quickly. Oh, crap. Seek our source. The void woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked uh -oh. satisfaction. Precisely. Oh, crap. Oh, she gets to go first, of course. Source blast. Oh! We just got wrecked. Can I get that? Oh, cool. Oh, we were going to see, uh...
few of them are in good spirits, especially the children. The others are sullen. Don't blame them. Change is rough, but they'll make new friends sooner or later. 